the right. And Tuxo, the lone Frenchman uh, from France, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. is, that, is that yeah. what that means? Straight out of Paris. You know, you can see him sporting uh, the logo of his, uh, the Extra Life Cafe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a little gaming cafe in Paris. It's pretty neat. Um, oh, okay. Uh, okay. that plays Mita. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did not know that either. I guess I've never actually played him. Uh, but, all right. And, yeah, Tuxo on the right. Uh, oh, Tuxo, yeah, yeah. Straight to, right into the three. Uh, yeah, I think there's actually a bit of an up. Tuxo in losers. I think there's actually a bit of an upset. I think he lost to, um, I think it was Jackifer. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he was. Uh, I, he was seated first, which was a little odd, but I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what how it, how they determine it. That's but fine. That's yeah, fine. it worked. It worked out actually, because. Um, Myself and Tan Guy actually forgot to register for the tournament. Oh wow! Well, yeah. Well, I I still I still uh, signed up for the event. Well, uh, but yeah, so you just yeah, didn't I, sign up online. yeah, I just yeah. didn't sign up online. Um, so I had to. Uh, so yeah, and l luckily the bracket was like seen in a way that where it's like it, it all worked out kind yeah. of. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, Jordy yeah. and I got yeah, you were separated. Sides, yeah, that, was, which is good that was good. Yeah, and I, actually it was it was weird because actually if like. It was me and him out. You think you you guys actually may have been on the same side. You would yeah, have thought, yeah. but oh well. But oh, oh dark lava oh, thing. Ooh, are we yeah, I catch those, my man. Yeah, uh, I right. guess Tuxo's already up a, a uh, set. Yeah, here. let's talk about the match. A yeah, bit. Let's, let's talk about the match. Uh, Tuxo, uh, very uh, well seasoned player. Yeah. Knows how to play everybody a little bit. Uh, Darth Wabafet, he shows up pretty consistently to the events, but uh, right now they're locked in a back and forth battle. Uh, actually, Tuxo is taking the clear lead now, going up three. Ooh. I will say one of the things about this stage that I think is really cool is that the red uh, center, the the five pointer, actually increases. Like you just it's saw fans. that there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know it's nice because it gives you a nice. It gives if you're losing, uh, it gives the people a nice like come from behind mechanic. Yeah, like, there's uh, a comeback mechanic on this map, which is, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I think it's the only map that does that. So. Yeah, it's the only one that really gives you uh, the edge. Although, uh, you you know there is something they talk about in France uh, called Le Curse, for those that don't know, uh, which is when you're when you sc Ooh, oh and see look at that Let's and see go. that was, uh, I, when you get when you get to eleven uh, and this is actually there's some truth to it like the game starts giving your opponent like certain advantages like they'll uh, they'll pop the disc up more or they'll have more frames to do like supersonics really? and stuff like that I didn't yeah know that. yeah yeah and it, it uh, all depends on your character like uh, for instance Mita uh, well I think they all increase the same but I think Mita gets like plus 13 frames or up to like that if you're like losing it depends on uh, the score and like time so for instance oh. if you know it's like what, if you're always wondering why people always get those last second shots, uh, there's a little bit. Of, there's a little oh, bit of a reason why. Oh, some of that. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah, a little bit because uh, they'll get those cre they'll get those uh, super sonic shots that can uh, mess you up. But uh, ooh, and uh, that's game one. All right, let's see what uh, Darth Wobbuffet does to counter. Let's see yeah. if he's gonna stick with me. I think um, he won a set, so you know it's obvious he's obviously in this battle. But, uh, yeah, the last one looked a little bit, uh, a little free. A little bit, but, but uh, he was in there. He was in the game. I saw. He's awake. He's playing. Yeah, he's no, he's buttons. Both these guys do not. Uh, both these guys do not want to uh, get out of this tournament now. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. This is losers. I keep forgetting that. Th th this is losers, or uh, I'm sorry. Uh, isn't this losers? Yeah, this is losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I no. keep forgetting. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, whoever loses, they're they're out. Yeah, they're done. <laughs> this is what. Th that's a shame. But yeah. That, yeah, Life that's a tour. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's yeah, interesting that Wabafet chose the stadium again. Um, I mean, I guess he could if he thought he, he did yeah, he win got one. He yeah, he got, got one. I love Mita's curves, man. Yeah, uh, I, they're really they're pretty the crazy. Yeah. yeah. They like hook like a J sort of. Uh, oh, hey, hey. hey. All, All right. right. Yeah, there we go. Wabafet. He's, uh, he's shown he can do the he can he's got something in his ba uh, bag of tricks as well. Ooh, hey! hey. Ooh, and see he he got tricked there. He thought that curve was going to go a little bit lower. And yeah, yeah. Just went right over. 
Ah. Ooh, and see that? That's why I, I have problems with Nita because like her dash. I have a. It's hard to uh, control her dash, kind of. Yeah. You have a tendency to like either slide past the disc or uh, yeah. not, or if or her walk speed's kind of slow, so you can. Oh, look. Okay. Wow. See. Yeah. Look. Tuxo has the eleven. So uh, Darth Wabafet's gonna. He's gonna have to be play cautiously, and I, it looks like he's going to so far. Okay, he could definitely get something here. Oh! oh! Okay. I'm surprised Wobbuffet hasn't just used Mita's regular super. Yeah, well, you know, actually, um, I know uh, the French are, they, they are so used to Mita. They're well versed. Yeah, they can, Mita. they don't even, it's funny, I've asked them in the past they're like it, it, what they thought, and they're like, oh, I don't think it's so good. They think it's too easy to see, or it's too slow, or something like that. I guess because like, it's like that sinusoidal curve, right? Sort of. Curve, well, the thing about so. it is, like, if you just, like, the way to do it, the best way to block it is just kind of like stand in the center and, or just like stand a little bit above the line and just like don't move. But, yeah. you know, sometimes it still gets tricky, obviously. Uh, I mean, personally, like when I it bounces off the wall. And yeah, stuff, yeah, right? when it bounces off the wall and stuff like that, or if you're, especially if you're on, on the bumpers. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I like her super personally. It's one of the few I, I think is actually good. Like Ooh. that, yeah. Yeah, uh, this is a nice Speak knockdown. Yep, yep. <laughs> Okay. Looks like Wabafet uh, really playing a little bit more cautiously here. He knows this uh, could be it, so he's going to... Oh, but no, big mistake. He's got to stay more in the center. He keeps Yeah, going, he keeps going up one And he one can't dash in time. You see him. Like, yeah, oh, and see, ah. that was just a uh, psych out on his part. Yeah, I guess he was going for, like, a hard read. Yeah, and, you know, some... I won't lie... Oh. oh, no. Well, it was nice effort. Yeah. I won't lie, hard reads are cool sometimes. Oh, I think um, hard reads are cool sometimes, but they definitely cost you. Yeah. Uh, the, the way that Jordy and I describe it is that, like, Windjammers is a game where you actually don't want to really do any reads. It's, it's like, purely reaction-based. Yeah. It, like, if you start reading things, then you're going to go on the wrong side.